you have a brother that you love for the sake of Allah. How to increase that love? If you want to know that, stay tuned. Indeed, all praise is due to Allah. We praise Him, we seek His aid, and we ask for His forgiveness. We seek refuge in Allah from the evils of ourselves and the evils of our actions. Whomsoever Allah guides, none can misguide. And whomsoever Allah leads to go astray, none can guide. And I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped except Allah alone, who has no partners. And I bear witness that Muhammad is His servant and His messenger. Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to a new episode of your show. For the sake of Allah, I'm your host, Ma'tasim Al Hamidi. Today we have the brothers, Brother Muhammad and Brother Abdul Rahman with us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. Inshallah, today we will discuss a very beautiful aspect, a very beautiful act. It's simple, but it increases love among the Muslims. And maybe some people. Uh, we find it strange or hard to do that because some people are shy to do it but shyness is not recommended in that situation now I would like to ask Abdul Rahman if someone comes to you a brother and he says to you I love you for the sake of Allah what would be your impression <laughs> how would you react to that first of all because uh, it doesn't happen that much nowadays I'll, I'll get kind of surprised but this kind of uh, Good, good surprise, and yeah. I'll, I'll be happy from inside. And it will also, I'll, I'll uh, share the same feeling that he, he felt yeah. uh, towards me. I'll feel that I love him for the sake of Allah, also. Mm -hmm. Even though he started by saying that, I'll, I'll get the feeling because it's like an impact. When yeah. he said that, I, I felt the same. It's like an exchange. Okay, and it will be really, really nice because it, it, it doesn't happen that much nowadays, and that means it's a relationship that will last for long because it's, it's no interest involved in it. This yeah. is how I feel. Yeah, inshallah. Yeah, Muhammad, what if uh, let's say today you are with your friends, uh, the brothers that you mainly hang around with every day, and one of them comes to you and he says to you, I want to tell you something. He says, I love you for the sake of Allah. And then, well, you, everyone goes back home. I mean, next day you meet again. Would you feel the same towards the same all the brothers, the same feeling, or you would feel something special to, to, towards that brother? I feel, uh, certain, I feel something special for that brother because it, it really touches the heart. Mm -hmm. when, you, when, when you hear that uh, from someone, uh, it immediately touches your heart. Yeah, mashallah. Yeah, I mean, Especially when it's said with sincerity. Yeah, for, for sure. Yeah. 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 Because some people they go around and every everyone they meet with they just have these sweet words with no taste, yeah. and then they just used to them. <laughs> like, yeah, like compliments. They yeah, just yeah. say to you, "I love you for the sake of Allah." You, you know, he doesn't mean it. Yes. It's not yes. the one we are referring. Well, but, but it shows. It shows. Yeah, it shows, and yeah. you can feel it. Also. That's it. You can feel it. Yeah. In your it's heart. kind of spiritual. You can yeah, even subhanallah. feel it. Yeah. Yeah. Subhanallah. Yeah. This is why the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam told us. Uh, in the authentic hadith when he said that any one of you who loves his brother then let him inform him go yeah. and tell him yeah. <laughs> go and tell him yes, some people yeah. feel shy you know I feel shy telling someone it's not easy it's self pride you know yes. I, I can I come to this brother and say to him I love you for the sake of Allah you know mainly a person says that to his wife I love you but it's hard sometimes to say it to it's your brother love, yeah. you know, this is a brotherly love exactly. okay I love you for the sake of Allah so this is the Advice of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and then in the same hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam explained the wisdom behind it. Why do we say to our brother, to our brother, "I love you" for the sake of Allah? He said it establishes love and makes it last longer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Make it last longer. Yeah, longer. So, Subhanallah, when you, if someone comes to me and says, "Well, I love you for the sake of Allah," I really like it, and you will go back home happy. You see, Islam is about spreading this happiness because, as we say sometimes. Ill feelings or depression is contagious, you become affected. Yeah. 
when you deal with a person who is really angry or he's distressed, you will have the same feeling. You will get contaminated and, and affected. And you'll be a anxious to meet uh, this uh, brother again. Uh, exactly. Hang around together. Yeah, even, yeah, when yeah. Someone, yeah, when someone gives you that beautiful uh -huh. feeling, yeah. Yeah. you'll accept advice from him. Yeah. That's so, it. So it's like... Uh, that's a very good point. Yeah. That's, I want you to elaborate more on this. So really, when someone says that to you, you, are, you know that he's concerned about you. Yes. So when he gives you advice, yeah. how would you take that? I, I, I truly accept it. Of course, if it's a, it's a correct advice, and, and I, I think it, it yeah, is, since exactly. someone uh, Cause, trusted Because you feel since the beginning, the way he said it, you felt his sincerity. Mm. So you feel that he's, he's not a, a, a f someone who's, who's fake or who's false. He's caring about yeah, you. Yeah, he's caring about you and he's yeah. true. So when he comes and gives you an advice, you feel that it's the truth. He has nothing behind it. Yeah. Yeah, so you accept it right away. It's, it's, it's something above friendship that we used to have uh, exactly. before practicing, it's something above it. And, and, uh, and the opposite, for example, if someone never talks to me, never say salam, and then suddenly he comes, brother, you better do, most probably I'll refuse his advice because he, yeah. since the beginning, he gave me this bad impact about himself. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, it affects the soul. Yeah, a lot. subhanAllah. Yeah. So uh, you, you can see now that Islam is not only about as uh, people who are not really acquainted with Islam, they think Islam is about praying, about only fasting and isolating yourself from the society mm -hmm. and just being strict, being harsh, being a terrorist or something like that. We can see that Islam is totally different. It's totally different. So those who want to know really about Islam and they would like to choose a way for, of life for themselves. Yeah. And well, the last thing in their heads is Islam. But they should really contemplate the beauty of Islam, Islam yeah. the whole code of life that Islam presents, yes. mm -hmm. provides you with a beautiful way of life, not only in your relationship with your Creator, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in terms of acts of worship, but even your relationship with yourself and your relationship with, your, with the society around you, your fellow Muslims, your brothers, yeah, your yeah. sisters, everyone around you. Islam regulates this relationship and Islam elevates it and makes it uh, an honorable one, an honorable relationship something that you can benefit from and you can benefit the others from yes. as we say in this life and in the next because mm. you see the happiness when to i mean make a person happy and put happiness in his heart this is a beautiful act it's something really beautiful yes. something good and you can imagine the amount of happiness that you yourself have when you approach your brother and you say to him brother i love you for the sake of allah and you see that he's happy yeah. and you are happy i tell you sometimes maybe you won't sleep that night <laughs> You'll keep thinking yeah. about that. And, and actually, yeah. uh, sometimes you don't even know him. Yani you, you just met him like in, in, in the same point and just meet him in a masjid or something like that and he's from another uh, area or something like that and he just, you feel it. You, you feel it when he says it. Mm -hmm. and he shows up and with exactly. a smile and says, Inni So it's like... Uh, and it's like the, it's the complete opposite of the evil. And yani you can find someone for example, uh, he, he spreads evil, he's bad with people, maybe he's, uh, he's stealing people in his business just for... He, some, some of these people, they feel guilt, they can't even sleep mm -hmm. because of the guilt. Whereas this person, uh, this believer who spreads love and say, I love you for the sake of Allah, he may not sleep, not because he feels guilt, but he feels so good. Yeah. yeah. So this is a... Yeah. Yeah, subhanAllah. And it, it also, because it shows the other person that you really love him. So if something happens and you get angry and maybe you deal harshly with him, so, and he gets offended, when, I mean, when, you, when he knows that you love him and you have informed him or you had informed him before that, he will, okay, so I see, okay, this brother loves me, maybe he just made a mistake. So this would be the impression, it would help yeah. overcome hardships and things that threaten the relationship. The Prophet Sallallahu even Sallallahu directed us to something, not only telling the brother, in a hadith that was narrated by an Imam Ibn al-Mubarak, the well-known Imam, in his book Az-Zuhd, he narrated from the Prophet Sallallahu that he said Sallallahu Sallallahu. that if one of you loves his brother, then let him go to his house. Let him go to his house and say to him, I love you for the sake of Allah. Inshallah. This is really beautiful. I mean, you leave your house mm. to go to your brother's house only to tell him that I love you. Or mainly go to other people's house to, or maybe to uh, ask for money 
or just spend some nice time and say, yeah. I'm bored, I would like, would like to have fun together, just let's, ch let's chat and talk about things, let's chill out, this is, how people say, this is what people say. Yeah. But now you're going to your brother for the sole reason tell of him. telling him that, uh, that, you only, yeah, that you love him. But even I can say, we can blame even the practicing brothers. I mean, we say this often, that we should say to the brother, I love you for the sake of Allah. But do we really do this? No. What do you think? It happens Abdullah? rarely. Even, even it was religious. Yeah. yeah it, it, brothers, it happens rarely. Brothers forget this aspect. Yeah. What do you think the reason behind this is? Uh, maybe a little bit shyness. Yeah. Yeah, shyness. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, shyness. you know when you, when you get used to a person and you mix with him uh, too much, yeah. uh, you become so used and so close, but you can't, ex it's hard to express your intimate feelings. Yeah. It's hard. Some people find it difficult and hard to say to their wives, or to the, uh, a person finds it really hard to say to his wife, I love you. Mm -hmm. Some people, they really feel shy. I'll ask you, uh, what about your parents? Some people, they are really shy to say to their parents, I love you. It yeah. is, it is, yeah. We, sometimes we they think it touches the pride even of some people. It's uh, because we will break uh, the kind of casual relationship that we have. When you say to a person, I love you, when it breaks the, how can I say, the, the routine, the daily routine about the relationship. You're just so used to the person, Salam Alaikum, how are you? And you go, you don't really mean it. There's no direct link, no direct link between you and that person. So people find it hard to go to his father, say to his father, Oh my father, you brought me up in the best of ways. Jazakallahu khayran. I tell you, it's really hard to say that. Mm -hmm. But we want to break this because we have something more important, more precious to us than this casual kind of everyday life or routine that we have every day. We have love for Allah. So it's good to go to your father, yeah, express yeah. to him, say I to him. I believe if we choose the, the, the good moment, we could do that. Yeah. And for example, a brother just did something really nice to us or he helped us or something. So at that moment, I just expressed that feeling. I love you for the sake of Allah. Yeah, mashallah. But it's kind of harder when we're just sitting down and nothing's going on. Brother, I love you for the sake of Allah. Let's, yeah. bre let's, break, as they say, <laughs> let's break the ice and let's do it. There's no harm in you going to your father say, and saying to your father, of I course, appreciate uh, everything you've done for me. And to your mother, I appreciate everything. And believe me, this will improve the relationship and will increase the love. Yeah, it will. It will increase course, the love. It will increase the love. True. But you have to maintain it. You yeah, have to maintain, maintain it. So it's good to go to the house of your brother and take all the pains to, I mean, to go to his house and say, brother, I love you for the sake of Allah. Do it. Maybe somebody will turn up and say, you're, cra you're a mad person. You're crazy. <laughs> but, th but that's but how no, it is. No. That Islam yeah. is a way of life. But he will love it. Yeah. MashaAllah. He will love yeah. it. Yeah. So these are beautiful etiquettes. SubhanAllah. I see, if Muslims really apply Islam and put it into action, Wallahi, this life, will be, this world will be different. It's a way of life. Yeah, the, I, mean, I tell you, if you see all the things that we have done, if we apply them, there will be no place for hatred. No, no, no. Yeah, we will elaborate more inshallah on this inshallah. one, but we will have a short break. So okay. we say to our viewers, we'll meet shortly, stay with us. Do you want to learn how to recite the Quran? Do you want to read Islamic books in Arabic? You may enroll in a small group. Al Asal min ishtara. A private lesson. Man misluha fi fadliha. Or at your own pace to fit your schedule. Courses for sisters with female instructors. We're bringing you the latest software technology, professional instructors, and a state of the art classroom to the comfort of your home. Enroll now in Huda Academy. Huda Academy, your gateway to authentic Islamic knowledge.
Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back. So, we have discussed this beautiful etiquette, this beautiful thing to do is to tell your brother that you love him for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Alhamdulillah, we came to know how it increases the love, the kind of mutual love, and we said it breaks the ice yeah. and that kind of daily routine and the re that the relationship falls into. So, uh, do we really? The question is, do we really implement this in our lives? Do we do that, Muhammad? Do you just? Well, uh, lately, uh, it's not that much, really. Um, but uh, in a way, you can feel the, the love uh, that's going uh, both ways. Mm -hmm. uh, but saying it, uh, it's, it's really uh, missing uh, in, in our daily life, uh, as a f matter of fact, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but inshallah, and you know, uh, it would uh, occur back uh, as a sunnah, inshallah. Amin, yeah. Amin. What yeah. do you think, Abdul Rahman? How can we, how can we really overcome this? Uh, I can say the, the thing that we are not really implementing it. How can we avoid this? I mean, uh, I think that the sheikhs and and people should uh, try to that know this this point. Should try to talk about it and remind people. So that when you remind someone, he could remind someone else. And this habit comes back. So that, like you said, Sheikh, we break the, the daily routine by saying, I love you for the sake of Allah. Hmm. And it kind of takes you to a heavenly feeling. Yeah. Away from the materialistic uh, yeah. attitude that we have towards life. So... Uh, Affecting the heart and the soul. Yeah. Because like you said, there's no interest. Yeah. yeah. No we, interest at yeah. all. And yeah, we should really, those who know this etiquette, they should direct the others to implement it. You know, Anas ibn Malik, one of the great companions, told us a beautiful story. He said, we were with the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam one day and uh, a man passed by us. So one of those companions with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they said to, to the Messenger, I love this man. I love him for the sake of Allah. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said to him, have you told him? So he said, no. He said, why don't you tell him? Go and tell him. <laughs> Go and tell him straight away. Go and tell him. So he went to that person. He followed him and he said to him, I love you for the sake of Allah. Ahibbuka fillah. So the man said to him, Ahabbaka Allahu alladhi ahbabtani lah. May Allah, who in whom or whom you loved me for, may he love you. Inshallah. So you see this beautiful dua? It's yeah. a nice way. So when someone comes to you and says, I love you for the sake of Allah, you say to him, may Allah whom you loved me for, may he love you. Okay. okay. So this is a beautiful etiquette. And imagine how the society would be if people really ex expressed their love mm -hmm. to one another. When you come to your brother, I love you for the sake of Allah, it strengthens the bond and it brings the brothers together. And if it becomes a habit, but we don't want to fall into the trap of making it just a casual word with no meaning, yeah, yeah, with no sure. meaning that holds no significance. No, we do it with intention. It's an act of worship because the Prophet ﷺ directed us to that. So it's an act of worship. It should be done sincerely for Allah. Some people, they, they have this kind of language. For They say to you, well, uh, I'll give you my eyes. You ask for, for whatever you want, I will, I'll give you that. Yeah. It's just a casual word. They don't really mean it. Yeah, they don't yeah. really mean it. So, no, we want to say it. I love you for the sake of Allah. That it is, it comes from the heart. It doesn't come from the tongue. Yes. It comes from the heart. I love you for the sake of Allah. And we can, I mean, do the same thing with other things as well. With, For example, it helps us be sincere towards the brothers. As we tell the brothers about their mistakes, yeah, why don't we tell them about the good aspects? When a brother does something good, I mean, we can tell him. You can approach the brother and say, say to him, Jazakallah khairan, today you have done a very good thing. May Allah reward you for that. It encourages. Why Human beings are inclined to pick at uh, faults and mistakes. But when it comes to good things, they don't talk yeah. about them. That's Why? Uh, yeah, that's uh, a yeah. serious issue. Yeah, that's it a is. Serious issue. Yeah. Yeah. And so, like you said, Sheikh, uh, I remember you said in, in the art of uh, giving advice, we should even start by the good aspects that we found in the brother then go to the, the, the bad aspect that we want to talk to him about is psy psychology. That's it. But as we give yeah. advice, when a person does something wrong, we should always praise him not to make him become, uh, well, 
uh, happy with what he has done and show off, start showing off. No, we just uh, encourage him so that he does more righteous deeds. He becomes more inclined towards good because if the brother sees that you help him and you support him when he is doing good, he will increase in that. Yes. But if he only sees from you that when he does something wrong, this is when you remember him. You should actually remember him when he does something good as well. Mm -hmm. This is how the Muslim should be. So there is a balance. There is a balance. As we give advice to the brother when he does a mistake, we should also praise him, not in order to make him start showing off, but just to encourage him to do more righteousness, more actions. Because human beings are weak. When he sees that he is doing something good and there is no support from his brothers, he might, I mean, fall short in that. Because we need support, we're human beings. Yes. And from the rights of our brothers upon us is that we support them in that, we encourage them, and we should avoid making them fall into showing off. We don't want them to fall into the air. Mm -hmm. Okay? So this is one of the beautiful etiquettes that we have to stick to. But uh, what other things can help us implement this beautiful etiquette? What can we do to increase in that? It's like... Uh, uh Mostly interacting with them, mostly interacting with brothers uh, around. Uh, but uh, in a certain aspect, يعني, there, there are brothers that uh, say that uh, a lot. يعني, but maybe, uh, for example, me, I don't hang out with uh, uh, this guy that much. يعني, yeah. uh, but Alhamdulillah, I've been in a good uh, company practicing brothers. Uh, uh, Mashallah. Doing good, yeah. Mashallah. Well, but maybe if we remember the reward that Allah has prepared for the ones who love one another for the sake of Allah and that when we apply this etiquette, it increases the love. So we will have more reward from Allah and more love from Allah. So maybe mm -hmm. this will, because this thing, this etiquette increases the love, so it will increase us in reward as well. And, you know, we will get a, a supplication from that brother. May Allah love you as well. The one Allah that for whom you loved me, may He love you as well. So this supplication for your brother, and inshallah Allah will answer this supplication. Now, we are saying, I mean, our program is called For the Sake of Allah. This is where the name comes. Yeah. About venturing to tell your brother, I love you for the sake of Allah. You see, it's not love for, if we break down these words, I love you. Love is a dirt thing today. It's really, it's precious. You can't really find real love, which is not based upon interest, which is not based upon any benefit, worldly benefit that you can get from another one. So mainly people love you because of your status, because of your wealth, because of who you are, because of uh, maybe which family you come from, which country you come from, the way you look, because, of you, because you're famous. People yeah. love one another because of these things today. Yes. But someone loves you just for the sake of Allah, whether you are poor, or you are rich, yeah. whether you are old or you are young, whether you are uh, handsome or you are ugly, whether you are, I mean, strong or you are weak, mm -hmm. loves you for the sake of Allah. Despite all these differences and mm -hmm. uh, all the, the other temptations, He loves you for the sake of Allah. Mm -hmm. You see, for the sake of Allah, not for anything else. And that's the truth, yeah. the true sake. It's true. Because all what you just said, before Sheikh, it's stuff that don't even last. Any fame, come and go. Someone who looks good, he could uh, get injured and uh, has his beauty gone. Mm. Uh, all this goes, but when you love someone, it stays and it stays till in, in heaven also. SubhanAllah. Inshallah. SubhanAllah. Does this uh, 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 love of, uh, for, uh, for the sake of Allah exist in uh, non Muslim cultures or something like that? Or, uh, I myself, I haven't heard of that. Haven't heard of that. Mainly, what will actually what uh, what joins people together in other cultures mm. is things that are related to this world, either business, work, or mm. family, yeah. other things. But it the is rare. Yeah, it is said. It is very rare. And usually, people uh, I know that that has that that were really true. I don't know why, but most of them that were really true before being like uh, and they're not Muslims. They turned to be Muslims to convert, because they they had this honesty and this 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 love for the truth inside of them. Subhanallah. So it's Subhanallah. for the sake yeah. of Allah. You know what's special about this love? That it it comes or it follows in from your love for Allah. 
the love that you have for your Creator, for Allah. Yeah. Because we love our Muslim brothers, whether we know them or we don't know them, we love all of them for the sake of Allah. Yeah. We, okay, I haven't. Maybe there's a brother that I haven't come across, I haven't seen in my life, I haven't spoken to, but I love him for the sake of Allah. The first time I see him, why? There's no interaction between me. There's no it's other true. reason. It's true. But that relationship that combines us together, which is the love that we have for our Creator. It's something for especially especially for the uh, Muslim Ummah. Something the love uh, in mm -hmm. the sake of Allah is something uh, for the Ummah. Yeah, yeah. It is. I mean, uh, something uh, that differentiates us from others. Uh, yeah. uh, okay, let's elaborate more on the uh, phrase for the sake of Allah. I mean, I love you for the sake of Allah. Allah. No. What does this word, what implications does this word give you for the sake of Allah? Me, me personally, for the sake of Allah, knowing that Allah, our creator, he, he disallowed even injustice on himself. And whatever he does has wisdom. So uh, knowing that for the sake of Allah, it's, it's for the sake of the truth. And uh, so it's for the sake of something that th that is right. I mean, nothing should, uh, n n anything else would be wrong. Yeah. yeah so it's, yeah. it's really big. It gives yeah. a lot of con connotations that yeah. are, are really... Yeah. Muhammad, what do you think? I think it's like so pure. Mm -hmm. It's, it's so pure, it touches your soul. Yeah. And, uh, yeah that's, that's how it's pure it is. That's it. Love for Allah is for the sake of Allah, it's pure. Another thing, for the sake of Allah means sacrifice. Yeah. Yeah. So the only relationship where you will find real sacrifice, forget about films and movies and what you yeah. see, it's all uh, fiction. We're talking about reality. Yeah. The only thing where you will find a person will sacrifice for the sake of Allah. Well, for the sake mm -hmm. of Allah means sacrifice because yeah. we know and, and sacrifice <laughs> means real love yeah that's it so love without the, sacrifice isn't that's the love. only form mm -hmm. of love where you will find sacrifice which is exactly. love for Allah and this is what we want if love really reaches that depth in the heart that's it so you can d depend on your brothers you can depend on your brothers in Al Islam unlike other peoples because when they need their friends they won't find them they won't find them. So inshallah, this inshallah. beautiful etiquette will be implemented in the lives of inshallah. the Muslims and it will be for the sake of Allah only. Only for the sake of Allah with all that purity and all that sacrifice that we have. So inshallah, we'll implement that. Jazakumullah khairan for your contributions. Yeah. Beautiful yeah. subject, mashallah. And I hope our viewers will benefit from that and you see how pure it is for the sake of Allah. And now you know where the title for our show comes from, for the sake of Allah. So we will try to make our lives all, with all their details for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I say at the end Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh